Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be reviewing another amazing portfolio from one of you guys here in the audience. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let's check this out, right? So in here, we have a portfolio by Tarun Sharma. So again, sorry if I'm killing your name, right? Uh, shout out to Tarun. Uh, he basically sent us this portfolio. It's a really good looking portfolio. I really like how um, he's playing with the blue background. And I, I like this, right? Sometimes as developers, we think that, hey, let's start making everything dark mode. But the truth is that you want to go in and create a design or create a portfolio that's very welcoming for any type of audience, right? Remember that the people that's going to look at your portfolio initially, they're not developers. It's usually an HR person that works in the office. It could be maybe a project manager, right? Um, maybe sometimes even like the CEO of the company, if it's a small company. So remember that not every portfolio needs to be dark mode, okay? Remember who's your audience, all right, so let's get started again. Uh, looks really good. He has a little button here. Hey, click on me. And then when you click on it, it's like, hey, check out the website now. <laughs> so I like that. It's cute. All right. He also has his GitHub right here floating around. He has his LinkedIn. He has his Gmail contact. Okay. It says, hello, I'm Tarum. I'm developing creative on interactive web apps okay as a front-end developer my experience lies in creating seamless intuitive user experiences i specialize in using cutting-edge technology to produce high quality web applications specifically i have a vast knowledge of react and node.js which allows me to build complex and dynamic applications with ease okay very nice i'm guessing this is an original portfolio or design and to be honest with you it looks great right i don't know if it's a template but i think that is something that he created himself because it's very simple very plain but it's straight to the point which is good all right uh from here we have his projects uh he has over here the project that is called learning cafe the project in a new tab very nice very nice and professional okay everything works how it's supposed to work Okay, learn more, she takes you to the certification page. Okay, you have a contact us section, you have a curriculum. Okay, so this is very nice. Um, I don't know, you know, if this is like working in the sense of um, does it have payment gateway set up or things like that. Uh, maybe right now, currently, it's just like a front-end project. But again, it looks great, right? It lets me know that if you get a great design, you can actually go in and build it. So as far as the front-end, it's pretty legit. Uh, let's see. The courses don't work. About don't work. Why us don't work. Um, again, this is more to show uh, the front-end skills. So it's not like a full-stack project. So that's fine, okay? So, so far, so good. So then the next project we have in here, Hirely. Hirely is a platform where candidates can get hired by the recruiters from different upcoming startups. Okay. And here we have join Hirely. Okay. Sign up. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in sign up as an applicant. Right. So I'm just going to put in Joe. Register. Okay. Add your interest. React to yes. Click add, okay, and it shows me all of the different, uh, I guess, the jobs that are available. It has a nice little animation here for notifications, so that was pretty cool. Click on apply, and then from there you can just, I guess, apply. So, again, this is a pretty cool project. It's not super complete, but it's a good starting point. It lets me know that he understands the full stack. Right. As far as, you know, creating a user authentication, working with routes. Right. Um, I, I'm guessing he's using probably Next.js for this. So let's see. So React, Verso, right. It's on Verso. So I'm guessing that is using Next.js in the background. So, again, it's a, it's a cool project. Um, one thing that I will definitely say is when you do projects like this and this are projects that are meant for you to get hired as a developer, create dummy data, right? 
And then from there, once you have the recruiter's account, fill it up with a bunch of different job listings and, you know, recruiter at gmail.com, password123, and you create both accounts with all of the data already there. So the person that's coming in here doesn't have to waste time in registering and basically not see like that many different things in there. So that's what I will say about this project. But again, it's a great starting point. And what I like about it is that you're building projects that people will pay for. Let's check this out. Okay, make forms. Our problems, not yours. Very cool. Okay, very nice landing page. Okay, straight to the point. Easy setup, get a unique endpoint. From Formify, add name attributes to each of your input fields. Start collecting submissions. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. This is like a a real software as a service that people will actually pay for. So again, this guy is killing it, right? As far as the type of projects that he's doing, he's thinking outside of the box and he's looking for, you know, problems that people are having and how he can go in and create uh, applications for this, okay? So again, I like it. I'm trying to sign up. I'm trying to see the app. It's not working. Man, if this was working, I would have gave you a really, really high, high score, Okay, so definitely get this working. This is a really cool application. And again, people will actually uh, use this. So definitely I like it a lot. Uh, easy staff allows to manage staff, attendance, salary payments, few clicks. So again, I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I can see that the application is, is really good as far as like the idea of it, what you're trying to accomplish. It seems like everything works. So this is actually pretty good. Um, again, I trust that all of that uh, parts of the application actually work, right? I'm doing this just like how someone will actually come in here and look at this application, right? Same thing like I told you, if you have a demo account, the person wouldn't have to create customers. The customers are already created. So from there, they can go in and go into each customer, see you know a dashboard here with the salaries of you know 20, 30 different customers, right? Or um, employees, et cetera, staff, right? And they can see all of that information there. They don't have to do anything else. They don't have to sign up. They don't have to add the data themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, make sure that this works and that somebody can go in and add a staff if they wanted to go through the process. But 99.99999% of the people, they're not going to want to go in and fill this out and fill this application up. Okay. So just give them what they're here to see. Show them a dashboard, show them that the application works, show them that uh, everything, it works exactly how it's supposed to. Right. So again, try to save that person's time okay um another thing too that we're seeing here there's a lot of different projects that you have here so again they're very good projects but now what i will say instead of you building so many different projects what i would do is i will try to build um basically one or two of these projects right and just build it complete right like you see like this one this formify this is a great idea i wish this one worked okay um this one professional scheduling it seems like it, it works i just got a, a modal that popped up for me to log in with my google account guess what in that same feature you could go in and add it to one of these three projects here okay so as I scroll down, I can see you have more projects in here. Uh, to be honest with you, you don't need this many projects, right? You might just need uh, two or three of those projects that you already have here in the beginning to have the same features that you added to the last two, okay? So and even with this one, Bloggy, you can actually go in and add the blog feature to one of these applications, right? Let's say Formify, you can go in and have a blog within there. And in here, you could just tell the person, hey, we have a blogging platform. Uh, we also have the forms set up. You can also use it through an API, et cetera. Like focus on this two or three projects 
and just build them to the maximum. Same thing for this one, this learning cafe, create a dashboard for uh, the instructors, create a dashboard for the students. Like a lot of the features that you started adding on all of these other projects, you didn't need to go and start building this extra projects. What you needed to do was start adding more features to the projects that you first had. And that's it, you're good to go. You have full stack experience, right? You have the side of React that shows me, hey, this guy can actually be a front end developer or a full stack developer. So again, this is a really, really good portfolio. Um, as far as the first impression of the portfolio, I would definitely give this a five. I don't see any flaws. The only thing that I am going to say, and I'm just nitpicking at, at, at this point, right, is that you need to put in a container, okay? Um, this portfolio is pretty much, if you look at it like this, right? Let's say, for example, you zoom out, right, and you're actually watching this through a... I don't know, a white screen, because I got two screens. I got one that's right here, and this one's a 4K screen, which is on, on, on a white screen. This one is actually an ultra-wide screen. So when it becomes ultra-wide, this is how it looks, okay? Now, again, I'm just nitpicking right now. I'm just trying to give you guys a little, a little tip, right? When you put things inside of a container, no matter how big the screen is, it's always going to stay within that area. You see how no matter how big the screen is, this container is always going to keep all the content in the middle. And that's what you want to do for your portfolio too, okay? And for all of your applications, because I saw this, this problem happening on all of these, okay? So for example, click here, join Hirely, right? This is how it looks on the ultra wide screen, right? Now imagine if this was on a container, everything would have been right in the middle. It wouldn't be floating all the way to the right, all the way to the left. So keep that in mind, okay? That's just a little trick, right? Um, so as far as the, the look of the portfolio, I give this a five. Now, as far as the, the projects, you know what? I would give this even like a, you know, a nine, 9.5, um, but I'm going to maybe take a point down because guess what this project compared to everything else that you have at the bottom like they were all full stack projects they feel a little bit more complete um except this one and, and this too so because you didn't lay it out like if you have like really good projects don't put it at the bottom like this one is a really good project so if you have this one that has more features and more things this should be at the top it shouldn't be at the bottom so you know what i'm gonna give this a nine Okay, I will probably would have gave this a 10 or a 9.5, but because of the little things that I told you, I'm going to give this a 9, but it's really, really good. I'm not going to lie to you. Now it's just about going in, tweaking it, and doing like what I told you. Keep about three projects. You don't need to have 20 projects on your portfolio. Every time that you learn a new skill or a new feature that you can add, instead of creating a brand new project from scratch, go into those projects that you have and build it into it, okay? This way, not only can you go in and explain it to a, uh, somebody when they're interviewing you, like, hey, I did a blog feature, I did a Stripe feature for payments, I set up user authentication, I set up, you know, the front end with React, I work with Next.js, right, et cetera, I set up OAuth. So all of those things are set up to each one of these top three projects that you have here. Okay, so again, congratulations, this is a great portfolio. Now all you really need is just to tweak the little things here and there, and you're good to go, my guy. <laughs> like, you know, again, thank you for sending me this portfolio. I love seeing portfolios that are damn near perfect because not only can everybody here learn from that, but also too, they can see like, yo, this is how there are guys out here that are really taking this serious. So if you have like a little bullshit, portfolio and you got like a little to-do app or a snake game app, these are the type of guys that you're competing. So when you go in and you apply to a company and you're like, man, nobody called me. Why well, ain't get a job? Well, this is your competition. This is the guy that gets hired. You get what I'm saying? When you go in and you're like, man, they gave me an interview, but I don't know what happened. 
what happened is, you know, Tarum Sharma show up. <laughs> and then it's a wrap. After that, it's like, okay, he, he, he knows everything. He knows exactly what to do. He's already building this type of application, software as a service. Like, this guy is legit. You get what I'm saying? Even at this point right now, with all the little things that I said he has to fix, this guy is, he's, he's top tier right now. Okay? So, again, learn from this, guys. Now, guys, if you've been struggling to get your job, struggling to get started on your career as a developer, I'm telling you guys right now, you have to come to codingface.com, okay? Literally, we have the best platform because we focus on trying to get you results, okay? We're not focusing on teaching you how to code. You could go to any platform to teach you how to code. You could just watch videos here on YouTube and that's it, right? But if you're really serious about get into your goals, you got to try codingphase.com. Start coming in, right? Start learning without doing this as a hobby, right? You've been doing this long enough. You've been trying every platform. You've been watching every YouTuber. Guess what? It's time for you to start getting some results. This is when you come to us, okay? We don't teach coding as a hobby. We teach coding for a purpose, for a goal. Um, so basically, you could come in and get started with something as simple as content editor, right? Um, HTML email developer. All you really need is HTML CSS to get started, to start building your portfolio, and you start applying to jobs. As you're building experience with this, now you're working in the industry, and then on top of that, now you're continuing to learn other skills, like being a front-end developer, being a full-stack developer, right? Maybe specializing in something like React or specializing in something like Shopify theme development.